This is my self-built PF Sense router and has one problem. It does make too much noise in my opinion. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. If you want your circuit board design realized and printed, you should check out PCBWay. Starting prices as low as $5 for a one or two layer design with worldwide shipping. Place your order now, links in the description. Hi, my name is Victor Bart and welcome to Retro Machines. And I built this uh, some time ago and I will share the video in the description. And there are 40 uh, millimeter fans inside and they are kind of loud, too loud for what I like. So we're gonna solve that in this video and I have two options for that. But first let's get it out of my rack, onto the bands, open it, give a little overview of what the hardware is and then solve the issue. The one new case is from Supermicro and I flipped around the power supply and the rack ears so all the connections are now on the front. I think for a router that looks super nice. So here you have the original front with now here the power supply. So uh, let's take a look inside and the CPU is a dual core Atom with hyper threading. So I have four threads on a tiny micro ATX uh, Asus motherboard, Intel uh, quad port uh, network card, two hard drives in a set of S mirror, tiny power supply here. Oh, I already did a mod for the low noise. <laughs> so yeah, that was one of my options, but it's already in. <laughs> and has four gigabytes of memory. Right now I've worn out 40 millimeter fans here and they are just a little bit too loud in my opinion but one of my options that I had, I uh, had two options was of course swapping the fans and then use uh, the low noise adapters from Noctua but I already installed them <laughs> so that didn't help enough with this kind of fan so let's uh, swap out the fans for something else so from some old servers I got this 40 millimeter fans they are a little bit wider, so a little bit more airflow. And they came with a little PCB with four connectors and one input. And I already made this 5 volt adapter that we're gonna try out. I also tried out 7 volt adapters, but they were doing weird things. So I want to try it on 5 volt or with the splitters to see if they perform better than the little ones. I don't need much airflow, just some airflow and that it needs to be silent. So let's start a time lapse, remove these ones, install these ones and then uh, try out with the splitters and the 5 volt adapter to see what's the best option. Screws didn't fit so I had to use zip ties again. So next time I should make the holes here bigger. But the fans are pretty sturdy. So uh, let's wire them up and uh, test them out. So this is the PCB for the fans. Super simple, four connectors, one Molex. And uh, I need to be careful how I gonna mount it so I don't short it out. So maybe I can make it like here on some studs or something like that. That might work. But first let's see if it all works. And here I have one Molex uh, left over and even a SATA connector. Okay this is kind of loud but that was expected because these are pretty high airflow fans. I feel a lot of air moving around much more than I need. So let's first try with the low noise adapters if that helps and otherwise I gonna try the 5 volt. Okay the Noctua low noise adapters are installed. Uh, 
and it doesn't help anything. <laughs> so let's install this cable and this is an inverted Molex to floppy so I put this connector on the floppy connector so we have a normal Molex and then this cable so this is a 5 volt adapter it's just that the 5 volt is routed to where normally the 12 volt is I also tried this adapter with 7 volt but many power supplies where I tested were flipping so uh, I think 5 volt is a safer option you can still hear them a little bit but way less uh, noise and still I feel airflow behind them also airflow over the hard drives so I think the 5 volt adapter with these fans are the solution that I uh, like to have so now I need to figure out where I can mount this uh, PCB so don't short out let's see do I have any holes in the side that I can use uh, no <laughs> Uh, I have here a st stand off and here but that is also not the best solution I think so maybe I gonna drill two holes here in the rear wall and use uh, some bolts and studs to to mount it I think this is a perfect corner for it and then I can cable management all the cables so uh, yeah I gonna drill some holes and then I will uh, be back I made two holes here in the wall and I added some bolts to the PCB here so it won't short out so we can now uh, insert it and then some little nuts on this side to uh, hold it in place nice and sturdy so let's connect the uh, cables and I will do the cable management later and I have two uh, fans with super long cables and this one has a very short cable and then we take the 5 volt cable and plug it in this is very successful because they are pretty silent and with good airflow and with the fan controller here it looks just really nice and let's manage these cables because now it's one big cable spaghetti. I'm really happy with the result of this upgrade. Better airflow, more silent coolers, just running on 5 volt with this nice PCB here super nice cable management everything is tied together no loose cables in the build at super low power with the uh, atom and a mini power supply and just simple hard drives i can also put usb sticks in here but for now i have the hard drives and they work great so uh, yeah i think it's time to put it back in the rack so soon i will put this in production and we also get uh, solar in the house so my plan is to run a 24 7 sun v100 server i think that is an uh, amazing plan and soon i will uh, finally uh, install them but first i need to get the router functional and uh, create a separate network for the sun v100 because i want to make it a uh, server for my patreons where they can log in and play with and maybe host websites uh, like the shitty 90s websites and to get access to the sun v100 i probably will make it like the three dollar and up call on patreon but for one dollar you can already join my discord servers so please join my patreon and join my discord server where we can chat and uh, have fun so uh, let's uh, put this one back in the rack and uh, listen how much more silent it is but it's a little bit uh, annoying that uh, uh, HP 2910AL makes more noise than uh, I prefer so I also need to modify that one someday what I really like about this upgrade is that I just used parts that I already had laying around from some old servers instead of buying new stuff because you don't have to buy new stuff every time 
when you do like little upgrades like this you can also reuse old stuff like the the molex uh, cable from the floppy to the normal molex i think i already had that uh, from uh, 25 years ago i just had it uh, laying around and it's now in the machine so if i ever will sell this machine or get rid of it i will pull out the cable and put the fence back on 12 volt <laughs> So beware if you ever buy this from me, <laughs> but it's probably then so obsolete in a few years that uh, it oh, will not be sold. So uh, yeah, let's uh, put the screws back in and then uh, I have successfully upgraded the fence. So let's plug in the KVM. So I can see if it will work. And the nice thing is you can also use the COM port in PFSense. So if you want to use a console uh, cable and uh, have even simpler cabling it's also possible. And right now the rack is a little bit moved this way because it's on wheels. Because I want to do some maintenance in the back. But <laughs> it's now a little bit tight here. But let's turn it on. PF Sense. Okay, it's already on Intel Atom D525 running at 1.8 GHz, 4 GB of memory, DDR3 even, just laptop sticks, and 280 GB hard drives. And the smart info here could and could. So that is really good. <laughs> PFSense is boots up without any errors. It got an IP from my normal network. So I can uh, configure it. So uh, yeah. If I listen to it. It's really way more silent. No annoying fan noise anymore. But only the HP here is making uh, a little bit more noise than I want to. The PFSense machine is now uh, ready with better cooling of course, so uh, yeah, if you like to support me, you can support me monthly on Patreon and join my awesome Discord server or use my Amazon affiliated links and thanks for watching.